Hi everyone, so today I'm going to explain about concrete damage plasticity, which is, is a one of the plastic properties in Abacus software. Okay, so before that, I would like to explain to you what is the C3D ELR elements that I use oftenly in the Abacus. Okay, so for this C3D ELR elements is a general purpose linear brick element from continents elements family with reduced integrations which is one integration point and our glossing control so due to the reduced integrations the locking phenomena observed in the c3d elements do not happen in c3d r the integration point at here okay is located in the middle of the elements the small elements are required to capture a stress concern Trations in at the boundary of a structure. So with this reduced integrations, so this from point five to point six it can bend. Okay, so from here to here it can bend, and then from here it, to here it can bend. So of the points in between the points, it can have the bending, uh, which is also the hourglassing control. But then if you only use C three D eight here, it cannot have that functions. So Normally, we will use C3DLL with the reduced integrations functions. So, this is the example of the concrete damage plasticity of foam concrete. Okay, so this is one of the uh, foam concrete properties that I use for my simulations. So, for this dilatation angle eccentricity initial by axial ratio, K viscosity is referred from previous study and also the abacus manual. However, for compressive strength and also the tensile behavior, this one you need to obtain from your experimental study, which is compressive strength, compressive behavior by the cube test or either cylinder test under the unit axial load, and also the tensile behavior by using the split tensile test. So from the test, you will get the yield stress in elastic strain damage parameters for both. But then for this, you need to process from the raw data. So today I will going to explain to you what is the process of the raw data. So this is just part of the examples result, example data that I use because this is from the experiment, so it's quite long, so I just take some of the data. So for the theory, for the concrete damage plasticity used in Abacus is as according to this. This is for split tensile, the split tensile strength, which is the tensile behavior, and this is the compressive behavior. Okay, so you can see this is the trend for this. Okay, so when the concrete specimen is unloaded from any point of the strain softening branch of the stress strain curve, the unloading response is weakened and then the elastic stiffness of the material appears to be damaged or degrade. The degradation of the elastic stiffness is characterized by two damage variab variable, which is the DT, DT for the tensile, tension and then the dc is for the compression which are assumed to be function of the plastic strain the temperature and the few variables okay you can see that this is the formula okay so i will explain more in the okay so this is the response of the concrete to an axial unit axial loading in the tensile and compression so from the experiment if you do the split tensile strain which is the split tensile strain you put in Okay, the split tensile strength you put in like that and then you apply the load on top and okay and support at bottom and then it will split. So it will split like this. Okay. But then when you split means that it's only recorded until this point. Okay? So it only record until the ultimate strength and then what we have to do is we need to mirror the result. You can see that. Okay? This mirror the result is, is very similar to the load increment okay so what we have to do is we need to mirror the result from the this part and then we mirror the result to become the strength are uh, the stress for this part and then the displacement and then for con the compression when we apply the load on the cube okay so we apply the load on the cube we apply on top surface and then support by the bottom surface we can get the softening which is the load will apply from here the elastic and then it start the first crack and then become the plastic and then after the 
ultimate load, it will become at all, the fracture will happen and then it will start to have softening curve. So this is both we need to have the experimental data and then we can proceed. Okay, so what we have to proceed from the data is we need to get the concrete compression hardening and then after that we can calculate the foam concrete compression damage which is the damage occurred from here you can see that before the ultimate load there is no damage the damage will start after the ultimate load which is the fracture happen here okay fracture happen here so this is the starting point okay and then the foam concrete tension stiffness from here okay so this is from the split tensile strength where the mirror effect we will remove the front part and then we will take only from the ultimate strength okay so the damage will start from the ultimate to the tn okay so now we're going to, i'm going to show you a data example from experiment which is this is just part of the result it's not complete yeah okay so for this i want to show you is this is the force that applied uh, gradually until the failure and softening okay and then the stroke which is the vertical stroke the ver the equivalent vertical displacement applied okay so from the force and the stroke we will convert it to become the stress of and the strain okay so this is not complete so you don't use it to calculate your results okay this is just part of it so from there you will plot and then you can see that this is the graph from the raw data from cube test okay so this is a set of data you can see that here is the stress that here is stress and then this is strain okay and then you can see that here for this part why the trend is like this it supposedly is from straight line like this and then you will increase and then change to the plastic okay and then you have the ultimate load and then you will have the softening here this part is due to the errors and then the imperfections where we know that from the experiment the cube test sometimes the surface is not not really smooth and not really straight and also there is some error during record the data so once we plot this we need to remove uh, re, we need to reduce the errors and then we need to remove this okay so from the raw data you cannot directly use it for the concrete damage plasticity calculation so first part we need to remove this part means that from this part we will move it towards this okay so from that you can see that we already i, I already removed that part you can see that this is a strain you need to draw a line like this and then you will start from here okay so actually the elastic behavior is from here and then the data from this is due to the error okay so i already removed that part and then you can see that this is the elastic where we can see that from this part is starting of the inelastic okay inelastic okay so this is start from the inelastic so after this step you complete then we remove the elastic part this part we remove it so we only left this part is it similar from the curve i show you just now okay so this part so what we have to do is we need to move the strain the inelastic strain start from here to the zero means that we already removed the elastic strain and then now from this part we will start to calculate the inelastic strain so you have to remove you have to uh, sort your experimental data and then become the inelastic strain start from zero where you will get this graph okay so this is the graph from just now you remove that elastic strain and then you will move it to the zero and then you will start to calculate the inelastic strain to the ultimate and then to the softening okay so from this curve then you will get the damage so how you get this value okay so e is the e original in the bracket one minus d okay so you resolve this you you sort this and then rearrange it you will get d is equal to one minus in the bracket e for that point to the uh, over e original okay so the e original is somewhere here which is the inelastic and the, the e for the slope for the elastic part and then 
the e for each part is this okay e for this part is e according to this part okay so from this you will get the value of e origin e over e original okay then you can calculate you can get this part so you will get the d is equal to 1 minus e over e original then you'll get this however here you need to be careful sometimes the experiment data is not so perfect so when you generate in the excel actually you can see that if the data is not really nice so here you will occur some result like this when it show you the trend of the curve and then when you input into abacus okay so for this part it might show you the negative value it will give you errors so what you have to do is you need to you need to add not add it but you need to um, smoothen the results and then at here you maybe you need to add some data and then edit some value to make it without negative value at this part so you need to remove the negative value here okay so from here is here you can refer to the concrete damage plasticity the curve which is the e and e original how to get it okay so the e original is this part and then the e for each point and then we start from here to here the e of each point okay so from here to here you will calculate that d is equal to 1 minus e over e original for also the tensile strength is similar calculation actually it's the same procedure okay so the mirror from split tensile stress test data you get the data is actually from this part okay after ultimate and then you mirror the result to become this okay so after you mirror the data you will get the data and then you remove the first part which is you remove this part you remove it and then you will get this part which is from the ultimate load to the failure so also you use the same formula as the compression the concrete com uh, compression damage so you will get this okay you use the same formula which is the e uh, d is equal to 1 minus e over e original which is e original is from here the e original and then the e for each point okay so you calculate you will get this concrete tension damage okay so the data from the graph for both of compression uh, the tension stiffness and the tension damage and also the compression uh, the cdp for the compressions you will use it include insert in the abacus data but then for the tension damage just a reminder of you the last step you don't put in the zero okay for that damage because when you put in the the damage as zero it will have you let you have some errors during the simulation this one where we will explain to you when we when i show you in the abacus for the simulations okay thank you for today's bye bye